All right, guys, this is your boy DJ Wolf here. I I, I, I got to get this off my chest right quick. All right, I got to get this off my chest. Uh, you know, Christmas is that joyous time of year, and I talked about, uh, I haven't quite talked about uh, the part about Christmas that sometimes makes me depressed, but I'm going to get to that in another podcast. But I will talk about this. Jealousy. Jealousy is a it's a very harsh thing that people do on others. Um, let me go ahead and go more into it. This is DJ Wolf Live. <laughs> thinking about this. Jealousy. Now, my wife and I have been married for well over when nearly three decades, to be honest. I'm, I'm actually surprised. Like, wow, I've been married that long? Damn. We've been together really about really we, we, I, now I think about it, yeah, we, we've been together next year will be actually 30 years. We haven't been married 30, but we were close. We're close, close. Anyway, we're close. But We've been together for a very long time. Very long time. Um, I got out the military uh, the same year I met my wife. So, and it, it's 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 been bliss for the most part. And the reason why I brought, bring this up because I know there are people out there, even some family members, that actually. Let me put it to you like this. Jealousy to me is a very ugly word. It's a it's a term that fits it, but it's an ugly term, it's an ugly word. And why I say it's an ugly word? Because people they use it a lot in ways that's it's just to me can something be sometimes downright evil and demonic in some cases. And I know there were people, and there are people that are jealous of what we have in our relationship. There's no doubt about it. I, I can name, you know, I can name you all kind of people. Whether are church or work or family, whoever, man, but I'm telling you. And it ain't, you know, what my thing of it is jealousy runs deep. You know, man, nigga, yeah, you know, I mean, I was thinking about when I got my first house back in 92. And I remember how I worked so hard to get it and maintain it for the first decades or so that I had it. It was tough. Put a lot of stuff over there in that old neighborhood that I had purchased the house from at the time. I really did. Oh my God! There was some haters around there. It was haters around there? It was oh my God! It was haters, haters everywhere at the time. I could not believe it. I don't want to go into great detail about who was hating, but let me tell you, it ran so deep that it was on both sides of <laughs> both of our families. That was really kind of like on the jealous tip, and I'm like, why? You don't believe people can't ha work hard and have what they want to have? I mean, damn. You know, this this is the thing about us. Uh, as far as our culture as black people. I noticed that. They the first ones to say, well, you need to go ahead and get you a job. You need to go ahead and go to college. You need to go and get you a car so you can get around. All that they talk, all that stuff. And as soon as you make that happen, all of a sudden they talk down about you. Trust me. I've seen it and I couldn't believe it with my eyes. But it did happen. It does happen. It has happened. You know, we the first ones to try to pump pump each other up about this, that, and the third, about you know, this, that, and the third. And we're the most jealous people on the planet. I, I don't I don't get it. I'm talking about jealous of each other. Each other's successes. You know, 
and they like to see. And, you, and, and, and just the other thing, when you do have people jealous of, of you, guess what else they like to see? They like to see you fail a lot. I, I was like, it just, it just, it just. I just shake my head and I'm like, wow, you really want to see somebody fail? Your own kind, you want to see them fail? Because you can't stand the fact that they're doing something that you ain't never bothered to do, never tried to do, never attempted to do. And you want to see them fail. You know? I had one family member tell me uh, one time, and this is an absolute absolute 100% true story. They were jealous of me, and I was in high school. I still can't believe they said that. I'm, I, I'm actually shocked, not only by what they said, but who it was that said it. And I'm still... I'm like, really? Let me tell you what they said. Now, at the time I was in high school, of course, I was wearing the latest trend clothes and stuff. You know, I was, and I didn't have a lot of money. I didn't. You know, I wasn't really making any money. I mean, yeah, of course, I borrowed a few dollars here from my parents here and there, but I wasn't like I was buying a whole bunch of high end stuff. I wasn't, I wasn't getting that kind. I wasn't, but yeah, I wasn't producing that kind of money. You know, and. Uh, to, to be real, I'm just being honest. I used to buy my stuff from a spot called, if you guys, your old heads know, James West. James West used to be the shit back in the day. I used to buy all my clothes from there. And he used to buy them the cheap, too. You know? I go to James West, take about $45, and get about two slacks and two shirts and a belt for under 50 bucks. I get all that. I mean, I mean, really, that, and that, you know, I used to get all my clothes from there. I used to make it work, you know. But uh, the the thing was, I bought a pair of leather pants. I don't remember where I bought. I think I bought from another store. I did. It was called TNT. Uh, if you know, it was old heads from Cleveland. Y'all know TNT fashion. But TNT that used to be, that store had all kind of clothes for men and young men there. And I mean, if I didn't get it from Jeans West, I got it from TNT, which is up the street, a little ways up the street. And I used to buy a lot of my clothes from there too. They used to have some really good deals on clothes back in the day. Wow. Boy, did they. But anyway, and they, it was some cool stuff though. You know? But I bought a pair of leather pants I think I bought from over there. If I'm, I'm pretty sure I did buy them from over there at the time. And, uh, and this is when a lot of, you know, guys, guys were buying clothes, but they weren't, you know, I mean, a lot. You know, you got guys out here now that that, that try to literally try to be fashion trends on when it comes to clothes and shoes. You know, a lot of guys in the shoes. I wasn't really. I was. He, I wasn't really heavy, heavy in the tennis shoes because the tennis shoes back in the day they didn't make them like they do now. You know, you got tennis shoes now. You could you could you could wear with slacks and a shirt and a tie and go out and still be comfortable in them. Whereas back in the day, <laughs> they made two colors. White, oh yeah, three. White, and then you write a red stripe, or white and blue, or white and black. That's three. So, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it, but they didn't, you know, it, it wasn't like it is now. Now now you can get them in all kinds of colors and designs and styles and migrant, everything, you know. But anyway, what I'm saying, I bought, I bought this, these leather pants from this store, man, one time, and I had a jacket that I bought from my dad. All right. And they actually matched. So I went there, dressing up like I was a rock star or something. This was in high school. And uh, they were like, they told me years later. I remember when they saw me with them on, they was like, hey, hey, you got to be wearing pants. So, so, something to do with that. So I, I, I can't remember if it was, either I, I ha shouldn't have been wearing the pants or you know, something. And I found later on, they said they were jealous of me because I bought it. I was wearing it, that kind of stuff. I like Really? Really? I, I'm, I'm, I'm still shocked by that. I was like, I don't know. Why would you be jealous of me wearing some leather pants? I'm trying to do what you were doing. You know? At the time, and at the time, I was. <laughs> I really was. I was like, wow. I wanted to get on that tip, you know, where I could dress like, like him. You know, and it, but they were jealous because I was dressing like me, and they wanted to dress like me. But anyway, but that's 
a, hey, that's jealousy too, but it wasn't as bad as some jealousy I dealt with later on. Like this one woman who I used to work with, you know, when I got married, and I was still, I was still, you know, I was still single. I was, I, I was a bachelor to matter of fact, until uh, right around this time. Back in 1991, where I became, what is this idiot doing? Really? Get out the damn way, you goofy fuck. That goofy ass fucker. It's, this asshole just jumped in the middle of the damn road. He no fucking where I was trying to make a turn, you bitch. No, I was giving, I was going straight. And this asshole just, he did it on purpose. Um, He jumped all the way in the middle of the lane, in the middle of the lane. And make a left turn on stop sign. I'm trying to go straight. He jumped. Yeah, he gonna go, literally cut me off. These people, some rude people. I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna do a whole thing on that one, one day. Matter of fact, I might do it today. But anyway, uh, so I, uh, I forgot what I was talking about. You see, he threw me off. Um, about some. Oh well, but oh, this is woman about the house. The woman. Uh, when I got married, I got married. Matter of fact, back in 1991. All right. So, sometime after that, my old lady and I decided to go look for a house. You know, because we were expecting our first child together. Uh, and she, the lady at the, at the job, and I, when she found out the house that I got, Like, oh, you got that big old house, one acre house, all that, blah, 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 blah. You know, I was like, oh, Lord. And then find out I was no longer single. Oh, she really went in. Because I was single for two years before I got married down there. And a couple of those women that was, at the time, was caping for me big time. A few of them, about four or five of them. They were caping for me big time. One of them actually, damn near, well, she didn't beg me to go out. Well, she did ask me about taking her out. She was fine as hell, too. And I, I, I didn't take her up on the offer. It was a spot called uh, in DC called Kilimanjaro. I never did get to go over there, so. But she was, she was saying, like, "You want to come down and hang out with me? We go dancing and stuff like that." I like you. She was fine as shit. I don't think she was married at the time either. But she sure was came for a brother at the time. I should have went on ahead, but I didn't. You know, I didn't. And I couldn't, and I didn't. I mean, it was a lot of women worked at the office too. I just, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, even, I didn't even mess with them women over there like that. Never did. I said, mm -mm, "Man, you ain't get me in trouble." But anyway, um, one of the women there who knew me at the time when I when it, when I when I settled down, all that she was she had a tirade because of the fact that she almost had a tirade because of the fact she found out I bought a house and got married and then, you know about to have a kid and all that. And I'm like, why is she so concerned about me doing this? And then from coming to find out, she was jealous. The fact that I sell down with somebody else. And I was never involved with this woman. This woman was actually an older woman. I think she might have been married too. Married or split up or something, whatever she was doing. Anyway, it's weird. But that's, that's how black women are. Some black women are very much like that. Because that's even the ones who ain't married to you. I'll tell you about that one on another podcast. I should tell you about this one. But, uh, and I just might. But, <laughs> and then we had a relative. Not long after that, not long after we moved. My matter of fact, may have been I don't think it was a year. And kinda of told me the same thing. I felt kinda of disappointed and heartbroken at the same time because I didn't expect him to do that. Now after all the hard work that me and my old lady did to get where we did, to get where we were, you know what I'm saying? To get where we were, to get where we needed to be. You ain't gonna have that car, I tell you that. Oh, people, people be killing me. You know, Dago, well, I got places to go too. You know, the person got any place to go. These people be killing me with this mess. But honestly, I was shocked because I didn't expect them, that person to do that. I really didn't. I really didn't. I did not. Not at all. You know. But it's just evil how people are, man. People are just nasty. Just for no good reason. And you would think, and this is a, and I will say this. I will say the person was a black person. Was a black person. Uh, and 
I, ne- I still don't understand how you gonna be jealous of your relative. Not she wasn't related. They, well, they weren't related to me. Let me put it like that. Wow, this is crazy. Why are you doing this in the middle of the day? But anyway, so my thing was. Why? Why were you jealous of that of her, of, her, of 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 them? I would think you would have been elated to know that you had somebody in your family who was man enough to be out there to take care of your relative and and, and future uh, sibling. I mean, future baby, future relative. You know, after all that work I did, and they didn't. I don't know. They just they did resented it. They really did. They really didn't want. They didn't want us to be married. To be honest, they really didn't. They wanted her to just go out there, have a baby, let me go and get our benefits. That's all they cared about. They didn't care about nothing else. They didn't care about nothing else. They didn't give a damn about nothing else. They really did. Wow, this is crazy. I can't get over. They didn't care about nothing else. I mean, they really didn't. One thing they care about the fact that that she was going to continue to the, the cape for everybody in the family and all that. I'm not going into detail about that, but I'll, I'll say that. Um, but they didn't want. They didn't want. They they didn't want us together. I, I that that I I came to that conclusion for that reason. Because when you tell anybody tomorrow, uh, and you, you, you know, because I, I'm not going into detail about the situation, but all it was, and it wasn't on me at all, you know, but they got upset because they, they weren't able to, uh, the, uh, to uh, talk to my significant other at the time. My significant other had to go to work, you know, that wasn't good enough. That wasn't good enough to have him return a call, but I, but i say it like this, I'm going to let it go. It's just the fact that, you know, that they actually were using me as fodder because they was upset at them. And that wasn't right. But it also was jealousy, too. Because they had to bring in the fact that, oh, we got a house. Mind you, our house wasn't brand new. It was an old house. You know, the house is well over 50 years old. So I had to put some work into it. You know, but it wasn't about the house. It symbolized the fact that she had a man that was willing to stand with her toe to toe, shoulder to shoulder in the relationship. Something that that person never had. Never had. And I'll leave it at that. And that's what it really was about. But to sit there and throw me under the bus because of the fact that they didn't have it was complete bullshit. You know. Anyway. But you got you got all kind of people that's jealous. You got church people jealous of you. I mean, and I'm like, and there are church people out there like that. I I met them. I know them. I know some like that now. It's like, I just shake my head. I said it makes no damn sense to me at all whatsoever. How you gonna be a church person and be jealous of somebody? Really? How how is that even possible? You know, it's just ignorance is bliss. I tell you right now, it's just. Yeah, but it's ridiculous though, man. It's like none of it makes sense. How are you gonna be jealous of somebody doing the very thing that they need to be doing and you got a problem with it? Really? And it ain't hurting you, it ain't affecting you in no kind of way or shape or form. You're just jealous. You know? I hate when people are jealous. You don't have no reason to be jealous. You know? I've never really been one to be jealous. I might have been a little envious, yeah, but not to a point where I just like, man, look at you, man, fancy pants. I've never done that. I've never been that envious where I just, you know, throw somebody on the bus because of something that I hated that they got that I didn't get. I've never been that. Had no reason to. You know, all I know is, hey, if I want it or if I want to do something like that or if that's something that I desire, then I should work on making it happen for myself instead of just brewing about what they doing or why they did it. 
you know. And I ain't gonna lie, there 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 are people, close brothers and friends, who've hurt me deeply because of the jealousy. Real talk, it hurts, you know. They the first ones to, to talk about, yeah, you all do this and blah blah blah. Not probably you know, one minute and the next minute, all right, look at you, man. Hey, y'all just y'all just pretend, y'all just say you gonna go along with him anyway. So just little petty shit. That's why I'm fool with a lot of black people. And I don't have a problem saying that. I ride with certain people on YouTube about that because it's true. And you know, and I and I fully understand. And I know where they're coming from. Because I've been on that road. You know, you try to do you try you try to do, you know, you try to be there for your people and all that. And they try to continually throw you under the fucking bus for just doing right. For trying to be right. You know? And they continue to do it over and over and over and over again. It's like there's no end. You know, the stuff that I've heard people tell me, it, it just, it cuts like a knife. It does. And I was shocked to some people who I know that I am close to that would say that kind of stuff. And the stuff that they say, you'd be like, really? And in some cases where somebody tried to uh, influence somebody else to think that way about me and the things I've done. And I'm talking about, you know, mainly positive stuff. It's like, really? I just... Mm. I just don't get it. I should have took that route. I really don't get it. I really don't get it. At all. At all. Now, why is traffic so backed up today? It's bad out here. I should have went, went out to the road. Probably been better off. Probably no traffic out there. But, you know. It is what it is. Jealousy, man, is a hurtful thing, man. It is. And people need to grow up. I'll say that. That's my first part of talking about it. I think I'm going to talk more about it on the back burner on another time. Again, I will revisit it because it's something I think that us as not only just African Americans, but as Americans in general, need to move past and stop being so petty because jealousy is petty. That's one of the things I wanted to say. It's, it's a petty thing. You know, and it gets worse from some people. It's just, it's just evil. It's just an evil thing. Man. You gotta learn to grow up and do your own thing, and be and be glad for that person if they're doing, you know, doing on the right track, doing what they're supposed to be doing. Stop being envious and do your own thing. You know, just grow up. Like I always say, this is DJ Wolf, I'm out.